Now, let's go to the Siddoth Trading Company. And this is the adorable it, uh, 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 shopkeeper we have this time around. No, we're still Azure. Okay, that's interesting information to know. Yes, uh, we can also <clears throat> sell entire uh, blocks of things, which is cool. We could do that in the last game too, so it's not very interesting. But that's how shops work. How to shop. Uh, we need to pick up a, a couple things first. Let's pick up one of those for Rain. Uh, Sony's is good with his dagger. He doesn't need a new sword. Not yet. Uh, we need to get a whip on uh, Scarlet to get her to get her to use her skills, and we need 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 a gun on Kira because Kira needs to shoot things. It's a thing that she does. Uh, we're also gonna pick up leaf boots because leaf boots are always helpful, always, always, always. Do that, and we'll do that. You can have a leaf boot. You can have a leaf boot. Leaf boots are useful. We want to have those. We'll sell those daggers off that I don't need anymore, and uh, they've also consolidated the uh, apothecary and the shop into one entity, which makes it incredibly more convenient. And we'll buy a medica, just so I can have a healing item. Uh, that's the bar, that's where we get quests. The inn is the inn. The hospital is where we, where, where we revive people. The Explorers Guild is where we were, and the Duke's Palace is where we need to go. So let's go to the Duke's Palace. There's guided tours. I don't want a guided tour. We still are known as Azure, but thank you for knowing who I am. You were in Etria, that town that you ruined. Right? Go away. Yes, I'm um, in the in the full ending to the game, after you hundred percent the uh codex. Basically, um they say like, well, you've kind of ruined our town's business. Hmm. That was kind of a dick move. And then you leave. So I don't think they would be so happy to greet us um with that information behind us, but you know. Yes, I assume there'll be some kind of a test, right? Let me guess, I gotta draw a map. Oh, my coaster's stuck to my water. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. We, we, we accept the mission? Yes. Do you want to continue the game or not? Basically. Is the Duke evil? Like in the last time, is that what that what's happening? Fair point. Fair point, actually. Hmm. <coughs> Made a noble. That's pretty cool. I could be a noble. Yes, we should probably start with the basics first and kind of work our way toward greatness. Yes, let's accept the mission. Entrance, entrance examination. You will be granted high guardian citizens. You must be granted Hyla Guardian citizenship before you begin your journey. Enter the labyrinth and create a map of the first floor. The tutorial quest! Yay! I'm sure that I will, good sir. I'm sure that I will. Ah, uh, the map. It's 
very good. Our journey will be much more difficult if we don't have, uh, don't have supplies. And actually, after we go to the inn, um, because this tutorial is a lot harder than in the first game, um, it's a lot more merciless with the monsters that are around, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save before I go in and do it, because it's very hard by comparison. I mean, I'm much better than them at a lot of things, but, okay. I will attempt. That's the best I can say. So let's save. Let's not rest, because it's only Rain who really needs anything, and that's only 10 HP. So, it's... It's an acceptable situation for us to be in with him being down 10 HP. That's comparatively fine. Here be dragons. The forest entrance. Oh god, at the entrance there's dragons? This is the worst thing ever! Welcome to the first stratum, the ancient forest. And floor one, an invitation upwards. So let's go, shall we? Sunlight pours through the lush green leaves on the trees high above your head. The sight overwhelms all who see it for the first time. The Yggdrasil Labyrinth. This forest maze exists within, Yug within Yggdrasil, the tree that looms over the town of Agard. As you marvel at its beauty, a garden appears before you. Thank you. The guard is standing in a manner that seems, to me that seems meant to block your passage. Okay, so can I begin the mission now? The guard takes a hard look at you before speaking again. Sure, let's let's uh, let's do. The guard turns and takes a few steps. With before beckoning you to follow. The guard takes you deep inside the, the unfamiliar forest. After so many turns that you can no longer remember where you are, the guard stops. Cool. Great. We're already lost. The guard scans your anxious face, faces and softens in, in, in an attempt to encourage you. Yes, I know how to draw the map. Thank you. The guard points to the brand new parchment clutched tightly in your fists. I know how to orient myself, guard. In this game, you just draw a map. Blah, blah, blah. We already know how to do the map. I don't need to do it again. Yes, I know how to use the map. I'll explain the map and its new features in a second. <laughs> yeah, return safely. You know, it's definitely... And with these words, the guard leaves you alone in the forest. Cool. Now go forth! Your adventures have begun! So, here we are. In the forest. Now the controls are the same for the map, um, but now we can do this. I can mark tiles different colors. Whichever color my fancy strikes. Or just not. Um, also, we lost the convenient markers for our gather points and have these weird blips instead. But we have these arrows for things. They can denote shortcuts. They're very handy. Now, let's see, we, we've already seen there's a wall behind me, so we can go to here. Just draw this real quick. There's one other thing to remember before you begin your journey. As you have some skill you have three skill points, spend them, blah blah blah, we've already done that. I already know what to do. Thank you, though. That. So here we are, in Etria. Well, not in Etria, as you uh, in Lagarde, but in the labyrinth again. There we go. As you walk, you find colorful flowers growing at the foot of a large tree, but they seem to be weakened from the harsh sun and have not emerged from their buds. You sigh, sure that they would have have, have beautiful blossoms, and continue your journey. Now let's mark it with an E because we can.
flowers. Continue this way. Good drunken line, Rain. It's great. This little clover thing is our treasure box in this game. Watch our hands before you open it, yes. Nectar! Good! Now, to cover something we can do in this game that we couldn't do in the last game. Are you guys ready for this? Ready for this shit? Watch this. Side steps! There have, we have side steps in this game. We can step to the side an infinite number of times. We probably shouldn't, though, because I don't know what's going- <laughs> I don't know what's ahead of us. And these are wood mai. Wood mai are fairly harmless compared to, um, other creatures that are on this first floor. Um, we should be able to kill these two without any real problems. Good, we got him before he was able to do anything. Also, we can just auto-attack in this game, which just has everyone set to attack. It's very handy. So there. And we found Woodmai. That's not the button to move. There we go. Had my fingers on the wrong buttons. Good work, self. Now we're just gonna go down to here. That looks like that. And this goes like that. We'll just fill these other uh, tiles in. We don't need to step on them. We'll just fill them in. Okay, and then we can go up there. We can go through here. Oh, they did the thing with the steps. Can I draw a line there? There we go. Sorry, pet peeve, that's how I like to draw my map. Oh, we're almost, we're almost back to the start, too. Now, this room... This room sucks. So let's see if it... We'll see if it'll suck for me this time. As you walk, you come across an open area with colorful flowers. Their sweet scent beckons. Their petals sway in the breeze as, an aroma, as the aroma grows stronger. You wonder if it would be if it would be so bad to take a brief rest here amidst the fragrant blossoms. Rest for a while? This is a trap. No. You think it best to leave this sweet smelling veil of flowers. However, it seems that your decision was was a hair too slow. As you turn around, you spot a pack of butterflies that were drawn to the flower's pollen. Worse, these are no ordinary butterflies. This is one of dangerous venom flies. We're almost upon you. Draw your weapons and fight. Yes, we're fighting second floor enemies now. And we're blindsided. Welcome to Etria 2, bitches! This is how this goes. Um, yes. Um, this sucks. This bit sucks. This is awful. But this is... up. Oh, yep. Oh, Rain's dead. <clears throat> At least Kira's not going to die. Good. Glad that this was, uh, this was my fate, to be killed by butterflies. Yep, we've already used our nectar, by the way. And Rain is dead again, as is Kira. Nope, just Rain again. Okay. See, this can be a total party kill, this, uh, this room. It's bullshit. And it probably will be, because of how little damage I'm actually dealing with. Okay, cool. I actually won. I'm legitimately surprised by that. Yep. Welcome to Etria 2, bitch. This is how this works. And now, Rain is dead. I've used my only nectar, and someone in my party is dead. On the first floor, in the tutorial. I didn't even want to go in there. I would have just... Dr now, if this were my my game, like on my personal um, my, on like a personal playthrough, I would have just drawn that room out and said screw it, and then come back later. I wouldn't have even bothered, and now you see why. You see a clear stream flowing from a rock in the forest and stop for a closer look. The mineral water that flows here is crystal clear and shimmers beautifully in the sun. You stop for a while to enjoy its brisk refreshment, then resume your journey onward. Let's make a note of that. Uh, running water. 
will sidestep away because I'm frustrated. I do that when I'm mad. Alright. Any squares we can cut out of the neck. Any squares we can cut out walking on in this in this uh, bit? Probably for the better. And with that, we're back at the entrance. And Venom Flies were our reward for getting this far. After traversing the beautiful yet hazardous forest, <laughs> hazardous is understatement, you make it back to where you started. The guard you recall meeting, meeting before abruptly appears before you. Yes, I... safely. Yes, let's go with safely. It wasn't, but alright. The guard's voice is cheerful as he looks over your progress on the map. After looking at your map, the guard's cheerful voice emanates from his helmet. Good. It only cost us one of our party members' lives. Good. I hate this place. The guard finishes his speech and zips aside, allowing you to reach the stairs back back to town. You may go back to the guard now, or continue exploring the the, the Yggdrasil labyrinth. Let's go. We have a dead person in our party already. Let's uh, let's not. Let's go to the uh, trading place, too, to sell the one thing we found. And we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, don't get hurt. I already have someone who's dead. Good. Can I actually revive Rain, or do I not have enough money? I might not have enough money. here sooner. Definitely sooner. God, I hate that part of this, that, that floor. Okay, I can revive Rain. Good. We made a 1N profit, by the way. That delve into the dungeon net us one whole N. But let's report the results, because we did win. Even though Rain died, we did win. Thank you. I wouldn't expect that much from us, realistically. Proof card. And monies. Yay, monies. We can use those monies. We can and we will. Let's talk to her first. Because if we talked to her before, which I forgot to do, she would mention that she has a thing that she can't sell people who aren't citizens. So... Sure, the permit? Yes. Yep, she can't sell us things. She can't sell us one thing in particular. And it's a warp wire. We need those. They're very handy. Alright, but now that we have a little bit of money to play with. Let's go ahead and get some uh, bucklers for our front line. A uh, thick goggy for uh, Kira, so she gets a little more damage. And a hairpin for Trevor, so he can get some more TP. Uh, weapons... Actually, we could afford to get some a new weapon. Let me scroll this way so I don't accidentally uh, uh, sticky keys things. Yeah, we'll buy a cookery for... Tony. Well, there we go. And that was the tutorial for uh, e for e for Eternal Odyssey 2. It sucks. That tutorial's awful. Didn't you see? That was terrible. Got beat up by butterflies on the first floor. God, it was awful. Anyway, hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you next time, where we'll go back into the labyrinth. Or, 
Actually, I'll do that off screen and grind a little bit. Maybe like level 3 or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, that's what's going to happen between, and then we'll be back to continue the first floor. Because we have about half of it right about. Or about half. That's probably okay for a first little excursion, but we can do better. I know we can. So I'll see you guys next time, where we'll do just that. So till then, till then. Okay?